excited about this drive because I have not actually driven my Mustang in about two, two and a half weeks. So this video is a bit out of order. We got some other stuff that's already filmed, but I'm gonna go ahead and push this one because like I said, there's some limited time information that you need to know about. All right, I still remember how to drive a manual, so that's good. Guys, stay tuned for the videos to drop after this one. We changed up a lot of things with the suspension and man, is it magic. We changed a lot of things and it's just like, wow, 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 wow. So have a little bit of fun and talk about the pricing increase for 2025 Ford Mustangs. And man, is it awful. that we're living in right now are just like awful as far as pricing goes. Everything is getting more expensive. So for S550 in 2018, I remember when Ford had that price jump, right? So if you wanted pretty much everything on a Mustang, you're gonna spend 50, 51,000, maybe 52,000, something like that. And everybody lost their mind, including myself. I was like, man, these things are getting really expensive. It's getting very hard for your guy that's getting out of high school with his first time job or maybe your young college student or even you know like grown adults like me to be able to afford these things comfortably i mean they've we've transitioned from like daily driven mustangs to almost like motorcycles or boats like something that's kind of luxurious and exotic and it's really tough to get like good interest rates on these things but right now you can for 2024 25s are getting released soon there's still a ton of 24s on the lots and you can get really good deals on them. My car, 2024 Ford Mustang GT, uh, it is a 400A, so we get the leather and all of that. It's got Recaro's performance package and it does not have things like magnetic ride and active exhaust. Um, I did put the quad tips on my car, but it is not a active car. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's a manual transmission, uh, so Loved all the tech, but still have a little old school row in the gears and things feel right at home with the MGW feels amazing. But anyway, this car stickered, I think around 57 or something like that as a 2024. Now here's the scary thing. Things are jumping so bad, so expensive in one year for the 2025 that you might, if you were on the fence about buying 2024, even though they're not tunable yet, remember, um, that all that's going to come. You know, Roush just released a new blower. Whipple's got a blower out. Um, I, I think it's exciting because now we have competition between the two brands. And, you know, could we see tuning open up over the next uh, couple of months or, you know, maybe within the next year? I, I certainly hope so. So you guys remember 2018, the price jumped quite a bit for the S550 from the 15 to 17. And it was because they introduced a lot of new technology and stuff like that into the car. So it was kind of rightfully so. But I had a 2018, also a 2019, we'll talk about 2019 that I had. It was a 401A Recaro performance package. Uh, had Magnaride, active exhaust, you name it. It had it, Beano, audio, all of those things. And it was like 51 and some change thousand dollars, right? And that was a lot of money in 2019, a lot of money. But this being in 2024 with less options, we're driving it right now, uh, actually costs like, what, 6,000 plus dollars more, something like that, but less options, it's crazy. Things got so expensive in just a short period of time. But here we are from 2024 going into 2025, one year, and nothing is changing except an introduction of like one new color. And this same car built on Ford.com as a 24 to a 2025 is over $3,000 difference more in just one year. I mean, that's nuts. So let's go back to the 2019 that I said, right? So it was like 51 and some change. If I built that car as a 2024 model, okay, apples to apples, every single same option, it's about a, a 10,000 or 11,000 or something like that dollar difference, like higher. It's wow expensive, right? And that was from 29, that's five years, guys. Just five years and we jumped $10,000. But here in one year, from 24 to 25, we're jumping three plus thousand dollars. So now, 
that's pretty much everything. I mean, so I think the only one that's not affected is the EcoBoost, I believe, to get into that car. It's the same as MSRP between the two years. Now, individual options as you build it uh, are definitely going to be more expensive, I think. But to get into the car, uh, it's, it's the same. But every other model, so GT standard all the way up to Dark Horse, two to three thousand dollar difference and as you go through the options when you're building it it gets even it gets even worse so if you build a dark horse for example premium with all of the goodies including the carbon wheels you're looking in the ballpark of like eighty thousand atrociously expensive for just one year difference now here's the thing no real difference in options are coming out it's all the same tech all the same everything just one new color you know we're not getting any new oranges which I really expected to see in 2025 uh, at least like a bright orange or a neon or something like that or maybe like a new green you know or something special something cool you know, and I'm really so glad that they didn't because I would see like uh, like Cop Orange, for example, or Twister Orange. You know, if they had that for 2025, I'd be like, man, I really need to trade in my red 2024 on that new color because I'm just that way. I love orange colors, but I like the red too. But I'm so glad that they didn't because now I'm not forced to do it. You know, I think I'm going to keep my red Mustang, this one, for a long time because if we jump three grand in one year, What's the next year after that going to look like? I mean, we know that there's new specialty models coming out. I expect to see a boss for the S650. Um, uh, we know that we're we know that we're going to see a Cobra or GT500, and that that's definitely going to be like 2026 and beyond. But I mean, could we in this generation of S650 see a hundred thousand dollar Mustang GT500 Cobra or boss? Like a hundred thousand dollars because whatever specialty models come out past the dark horse have to be more expensive. They got to be more powerful, they've got to have more suspension, more tech, more this, more that. Or you know, they have to beat what the dark horse is, and it's really not that much. It's like 20 horsepower more than a Mustang GT. I said it from the beginning a Mustang GT where the performance package is the way to go, in my opinion. The dark horse is fantastic, but if you can get like this car that we're riding in right now, do the suspension that I've done, you could do it to yours, and save a little bit of money by using the discount codes in, in the video description, shameless plug, but it does help you out to save money. Um, and anyway, that's what they're there for. I mean, you could have dark horse uh, uh, handling, you know, and you're not gonna feel the, the freaking 15 horsepower difference between the two cars. You're just not. Now there's other goodies inside of that dark horse engine. You know, uh, once tuning opens up, you know, the GT500 connecting rods, some other special stuff like that, that's gonna support power later on. That's all true. I mean, you are paying for other things other than just the updated suspension and the dark horse. But, I don't know, it's just, golly, it's expensive. If you're gonna buy a 2024, now's the time to do it. Now's the time you can get good incentives, uh, good rebates, good, a good, uh, a, I think Ford's even doing like a, a 90 day like payment defer, deferral right now or something like that for this month. I mean, there's a lot of cool things. So like F-150, for example, there's still a ton of 2023s left on the lots and you can get stupid money off of those things. Plus 0%, plus this, plus that. I mean, now's the time to buy a leftover 24 or 23. But the 25s coming out, having that much of a price increase in one year is scary. It's scary. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about all this? I mean, could we be seeing a $100,000 Mustang that's not a GTD, because that one starts at 300 grand, but could we be seeing a $100,000 Mustang in the next few years? That is terrifying to think about.